I have written a couple of previous essays on Bonhoeffer's pacifism, but I assumed, as did uh, my doctoral supervisor Jim McClendon, Stanley Hauerwas, John Howard Yoder, various others, that though Bonhoeffer was at some point a pacifist, that in fact later in his life he was involved in attempts to kill Hitler. And then the question was, did he adjust his theological ethic to accommodate such involvement? What I came to realize is that um, the claims made about his involvement in attempts to kill Hitler were almost always articulated, they were always articulated in a vague sort of way. So I decided in my last sabbatical to do research on the attempts that were most relevant to Bonhoeffer's life. So I read a number of books, uh, perused others, uh, on the attempts on Hitler's life, and so I studied lots of details and decided after reading about the five most relevant attempts on Hitler's life that it was highly unlikely that Bonhoeffer was involved in any of them. More than that, I realized that not only did he become a pacifist sometime before 1933, but that in fact from 1932 forward he gave passionate lectures on peace and he argued for conscientious objection. In speeches repeatedly he would argue for conscientious objection and he did that consistently from 1932 through the time when he himself was eligible for the military draft in 1939 and at that point he came back to the United States in 1939 specifically to avoid military service in Hitler's army. Eberhard Betke, the major biographer of Bonhoeffer, makes it clear that Bonhoeffer was a conscientious objector or advocated conscientious objection and that he went to the U.S. in 39 to avoid military service. What he doesn't make so clear is that Bonhoeffer continued to have that conviction regarding conscientious objection when he came back to Germany uh, in the summer of 1939. Uh, but he did in fact, and it appears that the reason why he joined the military intelligence agency, the Obwehr, was specifically so that he could have what was called a UK status, which was a specific status that said his role in the Obwehr, this military intelligence agency, was necessary for the welfare of Germany, and thus he was exempt from serving in the military on the front lines. Uh, his bosses in the Obwehr kept making this argument repeatedly during his time in the Obwehr from October 1940 to, until the time he was arrested uh, on April 5, 1943.